Well, obviously coming uh, coming off of, of last week's performance, you know, uh, and uh, you know, watching video, um, really the the, uh, the the biggest thing from an injury standpoint, Daniel McCarty was out, um, and um, he'll be out for the remainder of the year, and so um, um, unfortunately, we, you know, for for us and for him, uh, he was playing really well, um, so um, we expect. Uh, some of these younger guys to step in and, and take over a role. Um, and uh, Braylon Hyder uh, did a really good job of stepping in for him. Um, and uh, so, but uh, overall, after watching the video, you know, I was, <clears throat> I was pleased with our effort. Um, I thought we, we gave good effort. Uh, I thought we gave great effort on occasions. Um, and, and that's something as a, as a staff that we have to to, uh, to show these guys what great effort is. Um, you know, uh, uh, good effort fits in, a great effort stands out. And I think we definitely had some things that stood out at times. Um, and, and we've got to learn to, to play with great effort, four to six seconds of relentless effort. It's what we ask of our guys. Um, was disappointed in the fact that we were shut out in the second half. Uh, felt like that uh, Obviously, we had a lot of momentum going in at halftime. We um, uh, didn't execute right before half. Uh, had a had a mental mistake that uh, we could have at least came away with some points. But uh, um, give their guys credit. Um, obviously, they they did a did a good job and of making adjustments at halftime as well. Um, I I think you, it, it sums it up in about two or three different things for the second half. Is is we were unable to convert on third down uh, early in the third quarter, and we were very bad on first down and uh, put ourselves in, in long yardage situations. So those two combinations offensively and the, the combination of missed tackles, um, the, the contacts that were made and unable to get guys on the ground uh, resulted in 246 yards after a hit. And, um, and so those things we have to address and, and, and get cleaned up. But uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with, with, with the effort that we saw. But again, that's, uh, no one's pleased with loss. And, and uh, I've said it once, said it again. I mean, the, the days of moral victories here are, uh, you know, that, that's not why I'm here for moral victories. And, um, and so we're going to continue to get better. Um, and um, our guys are going to, to take the field today, as they did on Sunday night, with a great attitude and a great work ethic, and uh, ready to go for, for a very tough um, second ball game um, in North Texas. It's their home opener, or it's their opener. And, um, and I know that those guys will be extremely ready to go, um, especially uh, um, opening up the season. Our guys, our challenge, our guys, the embarrassment that they had up there. Uh, watching that ball game from last year was um, uh, very disheartening. Um, and um, so our guys will be excited about uh, getting, getting back out on the field this Saturday for, uh, for a Saturday night game and, and, um, and to perform in front of our fans and our crowd, which I thought was outstanding uh, Saturday night or Friday night. So questions? <clears throat> Did you take note of the SMU and North Texas game and then what happened back over to Navy? Well, no, I, you know, at this point in time last year, you know, I was trying to figure out, obviously, we were coming off of a loss ourselves against Georgia, and um, we were trying to get things back going. and um, But, um, you know, I, I didn't, obviously, I didn't see the game. I didn't see it to just the other day, and then um, and then obviously when 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 they they made the change or coach chose to leave, whatever it was, um, you know obviously that became national news, and you couldn't help but think about it at that point. So, uh, but I did not I did not see the game, did not take note of the game, um, but uh, I, I I I did watch it the other day, and and uh, didn't uh, didn't think too highly of it. You know what? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they'll watch a little bit of it. Obviously, they got a new defensive coordinator. So, uh, you know, Coach Kosh was not there last year. So, that's a whole other scheme. Um, and um, 
but from a personnel standpoint, you'll watch some of that, and our guys will watch some of that. But uh, um, I, I think our guys understand that, and, and they understand the embarrassment that they walked off that field. Um, where they, I think that was their first touchdown that they scored uh, all year. You know, the first of the it was on the last play of the game, and so. Um, you know, talking to several of our guys, it, it was a very disappointing um, game, circumstance, whatever it may be. I, I don't know. I wasn't here. I didn't live it, but uh, I watched it, and it and it was not it was not good. And so, um, you know, our challenge, our guys, is what can we do right now? That's it's not about the past. It's about right now. We're not going to forget what happened last year. These guys uh, um, embarrassed them. They were totally embarrassed. Um, I don't know, 46 to 6 or 43 to 6. I don't know what the final was, but um, it was a close game and it was just turnover after turnover. And, and um, I think they had a couple of defensive scores. And so, but, the, but again, we're not going to live in the past. We're going we're to build on this and build on what happened Saturday night and, and uh, be ready to go. And that's one of the things we can control. The only, the only unknown, or the only thing that we know after watching us last week against Baylor. The only thing that we all understand in here is that we're not going to go through the year undefeated. That's that's the one thing we do know. Uh, there's so much in front of us right now. Uh, there's 11 games left. Um, we have so much in front of us if we just take the approach of one day at a time. And uh, um, if we'll come out and give the effort and the intensity and uh, the excitement that we that we played with last week, and that our fans and our student body had last week, um, that's what we're after. That's what we're we're we're, we're going to gauge where we are um, again after th after this week. But, uh, How much of an advantage does North Texas have having the week off where they could watch your game against Baylor? Well, I, I mean, I I guess it I guess it's a little bit of an advantage because they got at least a chance to see us with our personnel that we have on the field right now and watching us play. Um, so I, I guess that's an advantage. Um, you know, I, if if it if if that was us, I would be be saying that's definitely an advantage. But the same sense, so you know, as a coach, you always try to get that first game out of, out of your system, and you try to because there's a lot of things that that are unknown in that first ball game, and especially a first ball game on the road. You know, you just those are those are those are things that are that, are, uh, that you try to try to work through. But uh, um, you know, obviously, I, I think they're uh, you know, coach has done an unbelievable job. Very well coached program, uh, knows ball, been around it. Um, coach Kosh, the the uh, defensive coordinator, has been all over the country. He's he's well known um, and and very sound football coach. I think they have some of the top special teams units in the country. Uh, they proved that last year. So very sound in the special teams, and so be a well-coached football team going to be coming in here, and and um, but I say it, and I'll say it every week that it's about the SMU Mustangs. That's our biggest opponent right now, and uh, and to not be satisfied with being average, and um, being satisfied with just giving good effort, um, and uh, I know there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of buzz. Um, from 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 last Saturday night, from our students and our alumni and our and our former players, and I've gotten so many texts and calls and and the messages and and uh, just saying how excited everyone is and and um, but my message we we want to be excited when when uh, and and I love the excitement, but let's uh, let's get this thing right and it's going to take everybody to lock arms and we took a big step in that direction Saturday night. And we've got to learn to finish. We can't just play a half or almost a half, or we can't play a half and three quarters. You know, it's five minutes and 42 seconds to go in the third quarter, and it's a 28-21 ball game out here. And so we've got to learn to finish. <clears throat> well, you know, we lost him play 25. And um, that's, uh, that was unfortunate because he, he was definitely playing well. Uh, we moved Braylon in, and, and, and he did a really good job. He, I think he got some valuable reps, got to get in game shape, um, moves well. He's got really good feet, and he's strong. Um, but uh, but it's it's the next man up. I mean, this is football. Uh, I mean, it, you know, you, you, fo injuries are part of football. It's unfortunate, and very it very much is. But that's why you have you have 85 guys on scholarships. Is is you got to be able to prepare for this and. And you've got to have the mentality in your program of next man up. How do you think the line of play, or how 
Yeah. I thought for the first half um, they executed as well as any unit we had on the field. Uh, they really did. I thought uh, um, as it as the game wore on, I thought I think that the 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 depth issue from both sides, I think it definitely favored uh, um, Baylor in in some regards. I think that we've got to. Uh, we've we've got to have more production out of some of our younger guys in the offensive line to be able to trust some guys to get them out on the field to play, to give us an opportunity to have fresh legs in that third and fourth quarter. Um, but um, our guys knew what to do. They knew they knew uh, uh, who to target and and and, and to cover color is what, is what we would say. And um, I thought that they they played they played well. Well, I think a little bit of both. Obviously, we had some design quarterback runs. Others were, you know, Matt would drop back into coverage. The lanes would open up. It wasn't so much a protection breakdown as it was that the lanes opened up and Matt saw an opportunity to take off and run, um, which was which was good. And that always puts stress on on a defense when you're able to have a quarterback that 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 uh, that can see the field and see the lanes open up. Obviously, you don't want him dropping back with the intent to run first, throw second. We, we, we want to drop back and, and uh, go through his progressions and then be able to pull the ball down. But, uh, um, you know, Matt, uh, Matt was definitely kept some plays alive with his feet, which was really good to see. Is there a number of carries you'd like to see them get in the Yeah, tw and not that many. And I, I, 24 is too many. Obviously, some of them were, were designed quarterback runs and others weren't. Um, and, um, you know, he took some hits and did he, he, you know, he can't continue to take hits like that through the course of a season. And so that's something that Coach Craddock will probably address and and uh, and with y'all. But I know he's addressed in his quarterback meetings is to learn how to to get to get the ball out of your hands. And so, uh, um, but Matt, I, I think we all see that Matt is efficient with his feet, and uh, he becomes a definitely a, a, another threat. Well. Again, as a first game with a new staff, um, the players with a new staff, uh, and for us to have five penalties for 40 yards was pretty remarkable, as much substitution as we did on and off the field. I thought it was very clean. Uh, I thought our guys knew where to go. They were on and off the field. Uh, they knew the substitution changes and, and rotations that we had, which I was very impressed with. Um, I was very excited about our running backs. I think that those, those three guys right there, um, or, and I've said it last week in our press conference, those, those guys there are, uh, are going to be really special for us. Uh, the two freshmen, uh, Braden West and, and uh, Xavier Jones, are, 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 are very, very much hit. I mean, we hit on those guys. They're dynamic players and going to be phenomenal players through their time here. Um, but they're freshmen, and, um, but they, uh, they, did, they did some really good things. Wide receivers, uh, again, you know, you rotated. We think we played eight. We had um, uh, some guys, some true freshmen on and off the field. So overall, that that was good. We've got to, again, the biggest thing when you start dealing with guys is they have to understand what your expectations are, and to give great effort is our expectation. And uh, um, and and some of those young guys have been used to giving, getting away with just doing, giving good effort, and because there's so much more superior athletically than some of the guys they've been facing in high school, they were able to get away with it. And at this level, there's no way possible. And so um, they got to see that on film and, and um, we'll continue to get better um, again. And, and, you know, defensively, um, you know, things we've got to clean up on. Obviously, we've got to, we've got to, to, to wrap up on contact. We were there on several occasions. We, we made contact. Um, we got to continue to move our feet, not leave our feet. And um, against good good players, once you leave your feet, they're strong enough to break down, break you down. And we saw that. I think we had 246 yards after first contact. Um, and then we have to be able to contest balls. We cannot just leave wide open guys um, and uncontested throws. And so those are some things that we're we definitely are working on, and and we'll continue to get better.
Well, I, I think that obviously having a tough opener, I would say as anybody in our conference, we had the toughest opener of anybody. And uh, I would say that uh, uh, the way that the game came out, played out, obviously we wanted to win the game. Um, there was a lot of positives that we could take out of that. Um, and I think that the experience of playing a game like that, now looking back on it, will only benefit this football program and football team uh, in games to come. And so absolutely, uh, there's things that we can build off of um, from a recruiting standpoint, from a program standpoint, from a fan standpoint, alumni standpoint. I've said it from the get-go, that was a gauge for us. That's, we, we, that's an area we, we want to strive to be where they are, um, and, and, and not just for a half or, or, or two, not two and a half quarters. And so um, those are definitely, we've, we've got some ways to go, but I think that we can see that, that we've taken some steps in the right direction. You know, I really didn't, and uh, that's, that's a unique question. I, I actually thought about that this weekend. I mean, I, I really didn't. I, I thought that our sidelines, <clears throat> from our coaching standpoint to the player standpoint, was very organized. It was very crisp. Um, there was great communication among our players. Uh, there was a couple of times some, some true freshmen that told us some things out on the field that weren't as accurate after watching the, the film. Um, whether that was to save them a tail chewing on the sidelines. They got it on Sunday anyways, so you might as well get it on game day. And so, um, so they learned lessons that way. So that, that would probably be the only thing. But I, I thought that, I thought, man, it was, it was a calmness. It was, it was a confidence. I, I think as the game went, especially that first half, that, you know, there was, our guys were like, wow, you know, and, and, and matter of fact, we had one of our guys say something like that. And I'm like, well, well dude, that, that's why we're here. I mean, we are here to score points now and we're here to, to stop people. And, and so, um, so it was exciting. I mean, it's just like everything we've been preaching and talking about and, and just kind of came in, came, came, you know, came into to, to basically reality. Um, and so, but again, we, we're still a long way to go. We're not going to be satisfied with, with, with just a quarter or two and a half quarters of football. Braden West had to feel pretty good after his first touch. Well, you know, we, we always talk about how can we impact the game in the special teams. Um, we, we want to have the best special teams unit in the country. That's our goal. Um, we feel like that we can impact a game um, from, from a special team standpoint. Our guys take unbelievable pride in it. And uh, there's no question in my mind that his kickoff return impacted the first play of offensive game. There's no doubt in my mind. So our kickoff return unit impacted the game early on. And uh, we had a punt return, uh, a punt that we could have returned. Uh, we had it set up and, and just we didn't catch it. And that's unacceptable, totally unacceptable. And we had an opportunity to have a big play there. But, uh, but again, our guys are learning. They're learning what they expect of us and uh, on, the, on the sidelines and what we're expecting of them during a game situation and game setting. And, um, but, um, you know, communication was crisp. It, it's got to continue to get better. Coach, did you learn anything about yourself and understanding this competition with your coach? Well, you know, I'm 0 and 1, so I learned that, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, football is football. I mean, it really is. And, and, uh, you know, I learned that, that I've got to I've got to be I've got to be better. Um, just as we're asking our players to be better, I've got to be better. We're asking our staff to be better. I got to be better. And uh, and so uh, you know, we've got to we, we were we were good at making some adjustments. We, there was a couple of series in there that we that we weren't good. And so we go back and figure out why we weren't good. But uh, you know, but that's going to be a part of every ball game. And uh, but no, it, it was it was it was football. I mean, it's. It was it was no different than me being on the sidelines at, at Lake Travis High School, as far as you know, being a head coach and trying to manage a game. Um, obviously, the game is a lot faster, and the adjustments had to be made quicker. And so, but uh, but I definitely want to give you know Baylor credit. They've got had a good football team, but and and I don't want to to overshadow our performance 
and with all with everything just talking about Baylor because we're going we're going to play a football team that uh, that's a, that's a rival and uh, that's right up the road and that embarrassed this football program and embarrassed us last year and so that definitely needs to be you know addressed by this football team and and um, we've got we, we we better have ourselves ready to go and because ain't nobody patting us on the back right now we lost a ball game and uh, but we're going we're going to continue to get better and that's what you ask Again, I, I don't know what they went through last year. I know what we've gone through, and I know what we're going to continue to build on. And it's all about energy and work ethic and accountability. And so the energy that we want on our sidelines is is a, a direct reflection of, of, of how this program is going to be ran. And um, it, you know, obviously it starts with Tremaine Carroll and our strength program and, and, and the expectations he puts in on our players. And so, uh, you know, again, that's what we're used to. That's what – we're going to do. So I don't know what they've done, but um, we're going to have energy. We're going to have excitement, and and, uh, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be into the ball game. It's you know if not, they can buy a ticket and sit in the stands. So thanks a lot, guys. All right, thank y'all.